Okay, so we're looking at question six. For each of the statements below, either provide a proof that the statement is true or a counterexample that the statement is false. 6.1. So probably one of these is going to be true and that is going to be false. Which way around? If the set x1 to xn is linearly independent, then the set ax1 to xn is also linearly independent. Is that true? Uh, no, one of the matrix A was a zero matrix. Then you'd have a, that set would just have a zero vector, and that's that's a dependent set. So the six point one is going to be false, and the kind of example we can give is so six point one is going to be false, and a counter example we can give is when A equals the zero matrix. Let's put that down. Um, six point six point one is false um, because. A equals the zero matrix, then A doesn't matter what the x1 to xn are. That's just the set containing now the zero vector, which is LD, clearly dependent. Okay. 6.2 says one probably is true. If that set is in any it's probably true, let's just try and prove it's true. If that set is linearly independent, then that set's also linearly D independent. So like the other way around. Okay, so we take uh, A1 times AX1 plus all the way to AN times A XN, okay, and set that equal to zero. Oh no. What we yeah, we know that's independent, so we know that that implies that all the scalars that all the scalars are zero, right? Um, okay. But what we want to prove is that that other set x one, this other set is, is is independent. So for that, we take some scalars, times them by the vectors. Now we need to use this fact that we that we have. Oh, set equal to zero. Use this fact that we have, which is that the, the matrix, I mean, the different, these different vectors times by the matrix A. And what we could do, I think, is we could just times both sides by the matrix A. Times both sides by the matrix A. A times zero is just zero, don't change that. Then the A will come in because of the linearity. The linearity of, of matrix multiplication. And then it'll follow. Okay, cool. That's how the proof's going to work. So, we start off by saying, okay, a1 to x1 da, 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 plus a n x n equals the zero vector, and that is implies that a times the matrix a times both sides equals whatever that equation is true. Uh, that's the same as if you now bring the, you can bring, you can bring the uh, matrix A into the addition and multiplication, of multiplication because matrix multiplication is linear and you can, you know, A times a zero vector is just a zero vector and that implies that the scalars are all zero because, because that's, that set is, because A X1 to a x n is literally independent, so this whole thing proves that that this other set without the a's is literally independent. Okay, that's all. Oh, the point is that this 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 point two is true. Let me put that. It's true. Here's the proof. Okay.